So in this video, we want to take a look at adding some character texture, maybe a little bit of weight to our drum channel. And what I like to do is process all of my drums together. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to throw maybe a compressor over the whole group just to kind of glue everything together. But I'm going to show some different ways. So the first thing I want to do is in this effects group, I'm going to just throw a compressor so we can try some parallel compression. So let's just name this. What I want to do is come over here to the drum group. And you can see right here, I have a compressor on the group, but I don't have it enabled because I want to show you the difference between throwing a compressor directly on the group or using the auxiliary to route into the compressor because that's going to allow us to control the amount of signal that's going to the compressor and then it's going to mix that back in with our dry signal. So if I go right here, I can choose my compressor. And let's kind of mute these other ones so we can just listen to the drums for a minute. I'm going to turn it all the way down so we don't hear it yet. You notice right here you can see the amount or the level that's going into that compressor since we have that compressor loaded in this group over here. So you can see if we use that, it's a quick way to kind of dirty it up a little bit. It adds a little bit of weight, but it more so for texture. It kind of gives it a little bit of a different texture since it's mixing that compressed signal with the dry. Um, and let me show you the difference between doing it this way and then actually just loading it directly on the group. So now I have a compressor right here. I'm going to start it without it, and then I'll turn it on. You can see when you're dealing with compression and things like this, especially on your drum bus, it really depends on the type of character that you're going for. I like a little bit of a, I want it to be a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to just maybe turn this down a little bit. I'm going to leave that on and then I'll turn the compressor on here. So if you listen really close, I just took that out, but when I add it back in, it's not adding a whole bunch of compression, but it does give it a little bit of a texture. It thickens it up a little bit, so you'll see once I enable that auxiliary compressor again, you'll, you'll hear the difference. Something else I'm hearing I want to do to my drums, I feel like I want to kind of open them up a little bit. And a lot of times I think people forget you can use Transient Master, but if you use it on a like a whole drum loop or a drum group, it gives you a different sound instead of just using it directly on your kick and directly on your snare. Because again, it treats everything together. So what I want to do is I'm gonna open up Transient Master. And the first thing I want to do is increase the sustain so it kind of opens up all of my drums. So let's mute these again so we can just listen to the drums.
But if you listen really close, you can hear it mainly kind of in those hi-hats. It kind of opens up the hi-hats a little more, but it adds to the overall feel and the openness of the drum track. So while we didn't do a lot of different stuff, it all adds together. So let's just, I'll turn this off, turn this off, put this back to none. And this is just the drums without anything on it. So if you listen, they all kind of work together, even though you're not doing a whole lot of processing in each individual device, it all adds together to the overall sound of what you're going for. And again, it really just depends on what you're trying to do and the sound that you're trying to accomplish. I just wanted to kind of give these a little bit of weight, you know, kind of glue them together a little bit and then open them up after I added a little bit of that compression. But again, you can go in and add, you know, any type of effects you want, filters, EQing, whatever it is that your track calls for. For me, I didn't want to do too much besides just adding a little bit of weight and a little bit of texture to that drum loop. So again, I'm going to start it without the effects and then enable them one by one and maybe disable a few just so you can hear how they sound together in different combinations. So you can see, man, Machine is definitely flexible when you want to go in and start adding different characteristics or even punch and weight to your drums or however you want to process it. For me, it's all about just experimenting and finding whatever fits your track. Everything is not going to work the same way from track to track. So depending on the sounds that you're working with, what type of drums, what type of processing or on the individual drums, all of that's going to determine what you try to do. But again, we just went in and threw a parallel compression a little bit, you know, to kind of give it a little bit of texture added a compressor directly on the group to increase the punch of it and then threw on transient master kind of open it up you know add a little bit of air to those hi-hats and different things like that there's different ways to do it again this is just one of the ways that i wanted to share of course in the end the best thing to do is whatever sounds good inside of the track that you're working on. <laughs> 